Hey, this is Pankaj Singh here and in this video, I will show you how to create your subdomain into your HostGator account and how to create your CNAME record using your subdomain, right? So, are you ready? Let's start. First, what you have to do, click on domains into your cPanel account. As you can see, I'm already into my cPanel account, which is my HostGator cPanel account. So, click on that. Right. So, here as you can see that there is a two section add on domains and subdomains. So, we have to click here which says subdomain just to create our subdomain right click on that so as you can see that a new window has been opened so here we have to put the name of our subdomain right so as in my case i'm going to give it a 30 days challenge right so this is my sub domain name right so as you can see this is the root of my subdomain click on that create it okay as you can see that we have created our subdomain congratulations right so our subdomain name is 30 day challenge dot ecom gladiator dot com so we have created our subdomain into our hostgator account so now let i show you how to create your cname record right pointing your subdomain to your third party hosting account so as in my case i want to redirect you can say I want to redirect this domain to the click funnels, right? So for that, what I have to do, I have to create a CNAME record. And yes, by default, when we create in our subdomain, right, it already creates a record, right? So what have we have to do, we have to delete all the a, a record, right, having this URL, three days challenge, dot ecomgladiator.com into our cpanel account so now i'm going to show you how to create your c name record right click on domains right so in your cpanel section find out zone editor section it is in your domain section right so here you can see so there are two ways that you can create your cname record first one is simple zone editor and second one is advanced zone editor right so in that case for this video i am going to create my cname record using advanced zone editor so click on that select your domain where you have you know created your subdomain so as in my case it was ecom gladiator so i have selected mine so as you can see that it is by default a record right so when i you know created my subdomain on my primary domain which is ecom gladiator so it has already a record by the name of a right a so as uh, you can see down below there will be a yeah you can see that right you can see that right so so what happened when we created our subdomain so it already created the record with the name of a so what we have to do we have to delete all the you know uh, a record having 
30 day challenge right so one by one we have to delete everything just to create our c name record with this domain which is 30 day challenge dot ecomgalator.com so i'm going to delete every record having a so this is So it will take time. So I will come back. I'm going to pause this video, right? So uh, I'm going to delete. Uh, yeah, it takes time. So I'm going to pause this video and I will come back. Hey, I'm back. So I have deleted all the subdomain that uh, that was having a record, right? So as in my case, it was 30 day challenge. So I have deleted everything right so here i have to create new record for this subdomain which is 30 day challenge so from the you know type section drop down menu i have to select c name and here i have to put the name of my subdomain which is 30 day challenge 30 day challenge right and here yeah and here I have to put the value of TTL, which is in my case it is 14,400. What is that? And now here you have to put the URL of the third party company where you want to host your subdomain. So, as in my case, I want to host this subdomain to my ClickFunnels account. So, as in my case, uh, the address is that that is target.com right we check is everything is okay and yeah that's fine now click on the button which says add red and you can see that system successfully edit the record so just to verify you can just check you can go down below and see whether it it is pointed yeah that's you can see that right so we have created our cname record pointing to our click finals account right so this is how you create your subdomain right into your hostgator account and this is how you create your c name record into hostgator right fine to note that when you create your subdomain it's already create a record so after creating your subdomain right you have to delete all the record that is related to a record right all the url right and after deleting then what you have to do you have to go here and you have to change this type a to c name put your subdomain name put your detail value which is in my case it is for 14400 then you have to put the url of third party hosting company where you want to find out your subdomain as in my case it is 30 day challenge myself to get this this right so this is how you create your subdomain as well as you create your c name record into hosted right thank you so much for watching this video and yes if you like this video please do look do like share and comment right have a nice day bye bye